Hi there. In this expert series video, I'm going to show you how to make what I would call a dreamy feel to a picture. It's an unnatural look to the picture, but it's going to give it more of a dreamy feel, so to speak. Uh, and let's just show you. This is the picture I'm going to start off with. It's a snow picture in winter of a building with a tree, and it's going to end up looking something like this. Uh, a very big difference and I would consider this like a dreamy and it especially works good with a snow scene because snow is nice and white and this dreamy type of effect likes to highlight the whites and make them almost like glow okay so I'll show you how to do this right from the beginning okay let's start from the beginning uh, the very first thing I do is I did a tiny bit of a crop to get rid of this little windowy stuff here so I'm just gonna crop that out just so it's a little bit little bit less distracting okay good now it's obvious that the picture is very dull you look at the histogram and it's not filling up the dynamic range let's just do an auto contrast and see where that brings us okay much better um it's pretty obvious that this sky is much brighter than the rest of the image so that's taking up most of the dynamic range in the highlights so I wanna boost up the rest of the images highlights and to do that without oversaturating the sky any more than it already is I'm gonna mask out the sky so I go into quick mask mode take my paintbrush I use the black and I'm just gonna paint in the sky okay now I go back into normal mode and now the sky is masked out and now I'm going to do another auto contrast image adjustments auto contrast okay a little bit better good a little bit better uh, let's see I might actually be able to tweak this a bit further uh, so I'm going to manually adjust the curves image adjustments curves and let's just fiddle around with this a bit. Uh, let's just try and bump up the saturation a bit. So I tag the middle point, fix that in place, and let's bump up the contrast. Okay, that's a little bit nicer. Um, and now I already know that some of the further effects I'm going to do is also going to bring up the highlights, so I don't have to worry about that quite yet. Okay, uh, let me unpreview that preview it okay this is pretty good so I'm gonna accept that and this is the base image to start with this is where I would start for a dreamy sequence well scene actually okay now there's two main components for the dreamy effect the first is to actually make it a blurry type of picture uh, the blurriness adds softness to the image so let me do that now. I'm going to duplicate. Well, first I'm going to deselect everything. Select, deselect. And now I'm going to duplicate this image. So I have my layers palette open over here. I right click the background. And I click duplicate layer. And I just click OK. And now I'm going to be working with the duplicated layer. layer. Now I have to blur this in, and the easiest way to do that is using a Gaussian Blur. So I go up into Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Uh, it just so happens, you don't need it very, very blurry, just blurry enough so that you can still make out some details. And in my case, this works for about a radius of 7.5 pixels. So I'm going to click OK and apply the blur. And now what I have to do is I have to adjust the fill to the setting that I want it to be. Uh, right now it's a fill of 100, so I'm seeing only the blurry image. But I want to blend the two, the normal image and the blurred image. And so let me just do that. Uh, if I go down here, here, here. I kind of like it. I kind of like it around there it's given everything a soft feeling to it 
you can still make out textures. It's not very, very blurry, but it's a softer, much softer feel. So I'm going to leave that at that setting, 64% fill. And now I'm going to flatten the image so that I'm working with the image I see right here. So I click this little arrow in the layers palette and I just click flatten image. So now both of the layers have become one. Now the next thing I have to do is apply a diffuse glow. And what that's going to do is it's going to highlight the whites and make them glow a little bit more blurry and then what I would consider more dreamy. So it's another filter, so I go to filter, distort, diffuse glow. This is going to take a little while. Let me fit this on the screen. And that's pretty pretty good right there. I have I don't like to add grain, so I have that at zero. My glow amount is at three, and my clear amount is at sixteen. If I unpreview that, the whites are a little bit dimmer. Let me preview that. Yeah, and the building, some of the building tanks takes on a nice glow too, which I really like. And it almost gives the effect of adding like more snow to the tree. I like it. So I click OK. And there we have it. Let me just do one more auto contrast. Image adjustments, auto contrast. Uh, it likes to darken things. I don't think I like it like that. But if I were to uh, touch this up a bit, I'd try and tweak the whites a tiny bit. So let me just quickly do that. I'm going to just select some of the whites in this tree. So I go into quick mask mode. And I'm just going to paint over the tree. Just a rough outline is good. Okay, go back into normal mode. I have to select the inverse. So I work with the tree selection. And now let me try an auto contrast. Uh, that worked good. Sadly, I didn't select the outside of the tree correctly enough. But if I had more time, I would have gone in, done a much more precise job, and have selected uh, the full amount of the tree. And that way, the tree would have really popped. Let me just deselect this and show you what it originally started like. So that's what it originally started like. It's much truer to real life, but I don't like it. It's very dull. And this is what the edited version looks like. Not bad, I like it. And like I said, I would have tweaked the tree a tiny bit to make it have been a more seamless edit, but you get the idea. And this is what I consider a dreamy type of effect. It's a little bit soft, and the highlights are glowing a little bit. Okay, I hope this was helpful.